Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now Jake Paul has had some back and forth with Tommy Fury, which is the little brother of Tyson Fury, and that's exactly what he called him. He said if he took a dump, that is what would come out, basically Tommy Fury. So he has been disrespectful and there is possibility for them both to fight, although I don't believe there's a huge possibility because Jake Paul is fighting Ben Askren next, who is a wrestler more so than anything else so he doesn't really have all that much a striking ability so going into a boxing ring isn't going to be the best thing for Ben Askren so you would absolutely expect a Jake Paul to win that fight and probably by KO as well so he's taking those kind of fights Tommy Fury's last fight was against someone who was 0 and 9 I believe or 0 and 8 before he fought Tommy Fury so he's not necessarily fighting the top fighters either but then Tommy Fury is what 20 21 and he's just coming into the sport in the pro game. So he's not going to move all that fast. Many do expect him to start taking step up fights now. Well, he didn't have all that much amateur background. So he's not going to be taking these big step up fights now. He's going to take them in two or three years time. Or maybe a year's time when he starts actually stepping up towards a British level. But that's as far as it will be at the moment. Because as I said, he's inexperienced. He needs to have those fights. He needs to have 10 more before he starts getting towards a British level because as I said there is that rawness there he hasn't been in the game all that long doesn't have the amateur background so he does need time to build and he does have time it's not like he's an old guy he has plenty of time he's young enough to grow in the sport of boxing then there's Jake Paul he is fighting a YouTuber then he fought a basketball player now he's fighting someone from the UFC so he is actually fighting a real fighter this time so he is stepping up as well and that is one interesting thing about the career of Jake Paul in boxing is he's gone from a YouTuber to an actual sports person now to an actual fighter so he is building almost in a similar fashion. He seems to be building towards an actual fighter in boxing just who that will be we don't know yet because he is fighting more of a wrestler than a striker in his next fight so he'll win that one he should do and then he will probably move on but the big question is who is he going to fight could it be Tommy Fury no I don't believe it will be Tommy Fury I don't think that Jake Paul is there yet I don't think that he's interested in those kind of fights with a real fighter he'll take another wrestler I expect before Tommy Fury and do we even really want to talk about the career of Jake Paul in boxing does he have anywhere he can get to can he become a world champion absolutely not no way is he winning a world championship I just don't see it I mean he's not even really a real boxer so he cannot win a world championship that's facts Tommy Fury he is someone who could go on and win a world championship so there's a clear gulf in the level between the two of them Tommy Fury is a real fighter a real boxer who will go on and challenge for at least a British title one day Jake Paul is completely different because if you just look at his resume you'll see that they are more kind of events rather than boxing events and that is the mould we are seeing with YouTube boxing. I don't really have a problem with it because it does bring more eyes to the sport and I guess you could say he is a real fighter because he has a license and he gets in there in the ring and fights and many people can't say they've done that so fair play for that but is he a real fighter on the level of say Tommy Fury? or even his big brother Tyson Fury no he's not you have to put them in different categories because one fighter is trying to build their career and the other is fighting a youtuber and a basketball player who actually seemed to think he was playing basketball the way he was running at him I mean it looked like he was trying to bounce a ball and run towards the feet of Jake Paul he had no game plan he had no concept of what he was doing in that boxing ring he shouldn't have been there really I mean that was quite dangerous so there was that guy he fought now he's going to fight an actual fighter which is fair enough he is building towards something we don't actually really know what it is yet he's talking about fights with conor mcgregor and his trainer or something dylan dennis then he talks about tommy fury now so he's talking about these fights does he actually want them that is the big question i think that in the future only time will tell will he actually take them if these guys that step up and say that okay we'll fight him because these other fighters have plans they have a career ahead of them they don't necessarily want to deviate from that and go and fight Jake Paul because there is a plan for Tommy Fury there is a certain plan to move towards maybe an English title before he gets to British level and start building that way so going against someone like Jake Paul goes away from his game plan to try and go for those big fights 
and get an English title, then build towards it as something else, because that is kind of the building process for someone like Tommy Fury coming through. So in light of that, I would be skeptical that this fight would ever happen because Jake Paul is going in one direction, Tommy Fury is going in a completely different direction. There seems to be two completely different aspects of boxing now. There is the boxers, then there's this other thing with even what Floyd Mayweather is doing with exhibitions against Logan Paul. I'm not saying that Floyd Mayweather is a problem because he's a legend in the sport, but still, there is that aspect of it as well. Kind of exhibitions with a YouTuber, then there is obviously Jake Paul as well. That is a different aspect of boxing now, that's the way I look at it anyway, so I don't really have a problem with it because they're over there doing their own thing, bringing more eyes to the sport, so let them do what they want to do, and as long as they're being respectful, which at times they're not, but as long as things are safe as well, then let them get on with it, and we'll have the big fights with Canelo and Billy Joe Saunders, Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury, those are kind of fights that we kind of look forward to. One thing that was a bit disrespectful is that Jake Paul went after Canelo for kicking two guys out of the ring who had a picture of his face on it. I mean, what is Canelo going to do? Let them stay there and build someone else's fight on a different platform right there in front of him? No, he's not going to allow that to happen. And that's fair enough. That's Canelo's ring. He won the fight. And yes, it was against a mandatory challenger, someone who also got some disrespect from a Jake Paul, saying that Canelo was ducking people. Do we really think that Canelo's ducking anyone? Look at his resume. Ducking the likes of Kayla Plant, David Benavidez, and Boo Boo Andrade. Andrade's in a division lower than Canelo. Unless Andrade wants to move up, then that fight wouldn't happen. That hasn't been really something that's been on the table. Canelo has been going for super middleweights, not middleweights. That's a division he's already conquered. So unless Andrade wants to jump up and fight Canelo, then that's up to him, not necessarily Canelo. And Canelo is fighting at Billy Joe Saunders next. He fought Callum Smith, and Callum Smith was considered as to be the number one in the super middleweight division. Then he's fighting at Billy Joe Saunders, who I would say is number two. So he is actually fighting top guys at back to back. He's proven that. You cannot come into the sport and disrespect the pound for pound at number one like that. It is just completely disrespectful. He had one fight against Andy Yildrim, which, yes, wasn't necessarily the best, but it was a mandatory. Canelo never wanted to take a fight like that. That is why he only fought Callum Smith, what, eight, nine weeks ago? And he dealt with his mandatory yield rim after that amount of time just to get him out of the way so that he could get back to these big fights. So Canelo is ducking no one. Look at Canelo's resume and all you have to do is respect what he is doing in the sport of boxing. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? His comments towards Canelo and the possibility of a showdown between Tommy Fury and Jake Paul. Tommy Fury has recently come out and explained that he would be happy to fight Jake Paul and he doesn't need anyone to do his bidding for him, not Tyson Fury and not anyone. So there is dialogue there between those two across social media again anyway. So guys anyway what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.